going up ladies and gentlemen this is the Knights of War Anthony here I just watched a very good video from my good friends the League of Extraordinary Vloggers if you want to go check out their channel links in the description below I highly suggest their channel because they gave me the idea for this video so there's a lot of you guys who come to either my channel the League's channel Awkward R6 channel um, Edutainment all those guys out there uh, either Horror Knights fans or just war fans in general and a lot of people um, are barely getting into horror and so this video much like the leaks video is going to talk about top five horror movies you should watch to get yourself into horror this is going to be my list from number five down so let's get started with number five obviously going to be coming in uh, one of the scariest movies of all time would be the exorcist now i love the exorcist it's a classic it's an it's an original uh, piece of uh, work and um, it goes down probably to this day as one of the scariest movies of all time. Uh, such a classic movie. You have the, the fight between good and evil. And um, of course you got Reagan uh, and Pazuzu, um, the, the, main, uh, the main protagonist in this movie, which they are, uh, she gets possessed by using the Ouija board and then Father Mary has to end up coming down and performing an exorcism. Honestly, a very good scary movie. I highly suggest it. Number four is going to go to Halloween, the very first one, because Michael Myers is an absolute fucking legend. And I think Halloween 1 is by far a masterpiece. It's going to go down as one of the greatest horror movies of all time. And I feel that with the new ones coming along, that you should get yourself ready for this if you want to get into horror. Watch all the Halloween movies, um, specifically Halloween 1 and 2. Those are the two best ones. But I have to say Halloween 1 is probably my all-time favorite. You got Michael Myers hunting down Laurie Schrode and um, he's trying to kill her. And he kills a, a couple of her friends. Um, it's just a wild adventure overall. And I really enjoy that movie. Number 3 is going to go to one of my all-time favorite movies last summer, The Shining. I love The Shining so much because it's one of those movies that's actually a horror thriller. Um, you're seeing the perspective of Jack Torrance uh, throughout most of the movie and you're seeing how insane he gets from staying at the hotel, um, the Overlook Hotel. So I think it's just an amazing movie. Um, Stanley Kubrick took Stephen King's novel, changed it up a lot. Stephen King hated it, but Stanley Kubrick uh, didn't like Stephen King's novel, so he did his own kind of thing. But nonetheless, The Shining is greatest horror movies of all time, and I highly suggest that one. Coming in at number two, the original Evil Dead. Now, I wouldn't jump to the 2013 one so soon because that one went a little bit more scarier than the original one. The original one was a B movie, so therefore it wasn't as scary. If you watch it, it's got some creepy parts into it, but it's so cheesy, it's so awesome that it's not as scary. So I highly suggest Evil Dead because Evil Dead is one of my favorite movies of all time. And Bruce Campbell is fantastic. That's where I think he got the start of his career, uh, thanks to Sam Raimi. And Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell created this whole universe with Ash and stuff that is so iconic to this day. Ash is one of the most iconic horror uh, heroes uh, ever to be uh, put on screen. Ash is a pretty notable name in the horror community, so uh, thanks Sam Raimi and thanks Bruce Campbell for bringing that universe to life. And number one is going to go to my all-time favorite cult classic movie, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. If you guys don't like clowns, I understand. If you guys can survive it, I guarantee you can survive Killer Clowns from Outer Space because Killer Clowns from Outer Space is more of a comedy. Yes, of course, you have the clowns killing people, but at the same time, you got some fantastic humor and it's just all out funny. Um, some of the kills are just funny. Some of the stuff they do in that movie is just hilarious and I cannot wait to see uh, if we get a sequel in the next couple years because I had heard that they are in works of uh, working on a sequel of some sort and we should be seeing something in the next couple of years that's gonna do it guys I want to thank the league for giving me the idea for this video um, I want to hear some of your guys all-time favorite horror movies for uh, people who are just getting into horror put the list or however many movies you want to put in the comments and let me know what you guys think a good starter horror movie is that's gonna do it for this video guys make sure to hit that subscribe button that like button and I will see you guys in the next one Bye.